Hello, Susie. Can I have a chat about what happens to your airways when you have an asthma attack? Why do you have to do that? I want you to be able to understand what's happening to you during an asthma attack. It's important that you understand so you can cope when you have another attack. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah, I suppose so. So what do I have to do? Well, I've got this little booklet for you to take home with you. Have a look and you'll see a diagram of your respiratory system. Now, I'm going to tell you what happens to the air when it comes into our bodies and travels to our lungs. Is that, like, when you're having an asthma attack? Good point. No. I'm talking about what happens normally, how the air should move into our lungs. Oh, okay. Right, let's start. The air is breathed into your nose where it is warmed and filtered. It moves past your mouth. Now it goes through your throat, and then comes to the epiglottis. That's the little flap which stops food going into your lungs when you swallow. The tube which carries food to your stomach is right next to it. So the part is like a road which divides into two roads. Can you see that on the picture? Yeah. Hey, this is interesting. Yes, I thought you'd find it interesting. Now, as the air moves past your voice box it makes sounds. It moves down your windpipe and into the bronchus. That's the part which swells when you have an attack. We'll talk about what happens in an asthma attack later, okay? Yeah, okay what happens to the air now, Tim? Well, See how the bronchus divides into the two lungs? The lungs are covered by a special covering that protects your lungs. There are masses of tiny sacs at the ends of your airways which help your lungs to exchange carbon dioxide for oxygen. Then you can breathe out the carbon dioxide. I get it now. What about these things around the lungs? Those are your ribs. There are spaces between the ribs as well. I'd like you to look at the two diagrams now. These ones? One says it's a picture of healthy airways and the other is a picture of a person who's having an asthma attack. That's right. This one is a healthy airway and the other one is an asthmatic airway. You can see that the healthy airways have a lining of healthy tissue. The tissue layer isn't very thick. But the tissue in the asthma airways is thicker, isn't it? Yes, the tissue in the asthma airways becomes swollen. The muscle layer around the air was contracts or squeezes the swollen tissue and the lining of the air was swells as well. This means that the airway gets narrower. Can you see that there is less room for air to go through? Yeah, I can see that. That's why your chest muscles tighten and it becomes difficult to breathe. You start wheezing when you breathe in. It also takes much longer for you to breathe out again. I really hate that. It's frightening when it happens, isn't it? Now that you know what happens during an asthma attack, it will make it easier for you to understand why you need your medication. Yeah, thanks Tim. I understand.